and welcome to another weekly vlog. I apologise for the car noise of me accelerating back to the usual, talking to you on the way into my mum's. Oh, it started raining really heavy. Probably hear it. It's Tuesday. Um, I haven't recorded this week yet, so this is my first record. Yesterday, um, I stayed in my pyjamas and dressing gown all day. It was, oh, this weather is when all the pain days start. Um, so when you know you have to do something, you have to make sure not to do anything near to that time. So yesterday I rested because I knew I was coming out today. Tomorrow, um, <clears throat> I should be able to stay at home because Darren can get Isaac from Chess Club in town. Um, and then Thursday I'm in for my uh, opticians like uh, eye test and contact lens. They check like the health of your eye to make sure that you're still suitable for lenses. Um, I actually asked for the appointment that you, I get an eye test every two years, but I feel like, <clears throat> um, and I don't know if it's because I should be closer to the TV, every night I play Assassin's Creed and I am really struggling to read names on the map and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know if it's because of the distance that I am away from the telly is not suitable for the gaming or whether it's my eyesight so um, I'm having an eye test to make sure not, not because I can't play Assassin's Creed but just because I feel like my eyesight is worsened <coughs> excuse me um, yeah and then Friday is Scouts and Saturday is Jiu Jitsu it's like oh it's like Isaac's social life honest to god so um, yeah, I spoke to my mum on the phone yesterday, and she, she although she can, I can still hear the anxiety in her voice. She did sound a little bit better than she was when I last saw her. So <clears throat> that's positive. So we shall see how she is today. Um, I know she's got something she wants to get changed at a shop that was a bit big. Um, I have to post a card for it's a friend's anniversary this week. So. I have to post a card. Hope it gets there in time. The postal service at the minute is shocking. Um, things are taking so long to come. <clears throat> um, we do most of our sh like Christmas shopping online. And saying that this year, um, we're getting a lot less than we usually do. Purely because I, we can't afford to. Just let us be honest. Um, we, I still have only put the heating on once for half an hour. Even though it is cold. I'm trying to like serve as much as possible because you know we're feeling the pinch shall we say <coughs> I think because there is so much expense when your kid goes to secondary school if you're listening to this Alan you'll be going yep and I'm sure you have more than one kid um, well they're not kids now but you know I've only got the one and when you sort of have all the expense you think to yourself my god like example Isaac's friend Robert, there's four of them, three girls and a boy. So the amount of money they must be out every year for school uniform and then all through the year there's always stuff that they ask the kids for money for. Um, and you know, I've really noticed a massive, I mean, the outlay for Isaac going to school was like a grand and a half. And that's before you get into the charges that the school have, you know, put on. That's just his uniform and his laptop. And I'm not even including like his football boots, his shoes, you know, little bits of like, stationery, pencil case, all that stuff. So I'm sure it was about, I'll say, 16, 1700 pounds just from the start first year. And obviously, there's my air fresheners, and obviously with him being a boy and that sort of age, he's going to start growing. Um, so I doubt that you'll get a whole year out of a uniform now. We shall see when the growing spurt hits. So there's nothing really to tell you besides that. Um, I shall sign off now and have some musical therapy, probably some Sereno, and um, I shall catch up with you guys later in the week. Oh, hang on, stop on the wipers. Can you see the graffiti on the back of the van? <laughs> right, more bloody roadworks just around the corner from my whole oh ship. We're moving off. The car's just told me it's moving off. It's doing that thing I said, the car in front of you is moving away. Yes, more bloody roadworks, people. Let's see what many men are looking down a hole here. Let's have a look. One stood down it, two's looking down it. Honest to God. Jeez, about the location of this, it should be over that way a bit. 
but um, I can't get it moved with one hand. I was going to record when I got to town um, to update you today rather than do it in the rain and noisy driving, but I may as well do it while I'm here. I'm going into Boots to have my contact lens uh, checked and my eye test today. Um, you get like, I pay so much every month on a vision plan and I get um, a pack of disposable lenses once a month and um, I'm entitled to like as many free eye tests as that as, as I need. I only usually have the standard one which is every year but I've noticed um, I've definitely noticed that smaller writing on the screen, like not subtitles or anything, but um, when I'm playing my game, I can't read small locations on the map, and I don't know if that's, I, I need to get Darren to look at it and see if he can read it, so maybe it's just not meant to be read from across the room. Maybe I should be sitting closer to the TV. Well, I can't because I sit on the sofa. So yes, that's what's happening today, folks. Um, we just got, when we took Molly and Dobby for their inoculation last week, we got the vet to write out a prescription for Molly's heart murmur medication because it's so much cheaper online. And they wrote a prescription and the vet says, oh, there might be a little fee for it. And Darren says, oh, that's fine, thinking 10 or 12 quid. We got a letter in today with the balance on the actual thing. 36 quid they've charged us for writing out a prescription. No tablets, just writing out the prescription so we could go somewhere else to get the tablets. So, I mean, really? 36 pounds for a prescription for a dog? Not happy. So that's probably the money we would have saved going elsewhere for the tablets. So, not best pleased at the minute, need it be said. So Molly's on these now for life and they're not cheap, plus 36 quid for the bloody prescription. So obviously you need to go back to get the prescription over and over again, so not impressed by that at all. Um, can't think of anything else to tell you. It's raining every day at the minute. Darren still hasn't got that bloody window painting started that he promised. We put the decorations up last Saturday. It's now Thursday not an iota. It hasn't even finished it on the, the sheet, never mind putting it on the window. Honestly. Um, I have to sit down and write. I'm on a live stream next week. I think it's the 13th or the 14th. I can't remember which day. I think it's Friday. From 1 o'clock in the morning with DeRay, whose channel name is Rainbow Fright. She's having a Halloween horror quiz and I'm on with another couple of YouTubers. We have to think of our favourite five death scenes and we have to think of five clues for each death scene. Um, and then we have to give the clues out one at a time, start by the most difficult and see if people can work out what we're describing. So. Um, she sent me an example as to what sort of thing she means, so it, the movie Death Becomes Her, um, the first clue would be a couple are arguing at the top of a flight of stairs, that would be clue number one, and then it, it just gives little clues of what happens in the scene. Now the scenes I've picked, I'm not going to tell you because this video will be up before I'm on the stream, the scene I've picked aren't scenes, some of them, that you can do that with, so I, you know, I'm hoping I don't have to stick stringently to that formula. I'm going to give maybe slightly different ideas of clues, because two of them especially, if you give any indication of where the characters are, you're going to get them immediately. Um, so, we shall see how we get on. The thing is, I thought initially when she mentioned doing a horror quiz, I thought we would usually, when people do, you know, you're guessing, you're answering questions. I didn't realise we'd be asking questions. People at home are just going to get Google on their phones and look up the answers to anything that's asked. But anyway, we shall see. So that's next week. This week it's just rain, cold, bloody cold. There's no temperature on my screen. I don't like the fact that I can never see what temperature it is. Why can't I? I'm going to have to look at that. Um, there's the bloody thingies again. Uh, yeah, right, I'll go now because I'm leathered enough um, and I shall speak to you later in the week, guys.
know what this guy's doing. Park the oh, it's run into oh somebody's handbrake. Somebody's handbrake's come off and he's gone into that car. Oh dear. Or me, or am I part? Are you too comfortable there in your big bed? Are you? Are you right comfy? Are comfortable girls? I was going to get some jumpers on in a minute. And uh, maybe get some uh, some should we get our bro bars on? And we'll go about your corner when Mama comes down. Because she's coming down. She is, is your mama coming down? What's that? Hello. So, oh, I don't need to go that way. It is Friday evening and I didn't get to talk to you earlier. Let me take these out. Um, as it was just scouts tonight, um, I did get a text to take Robert and Kayla, but then I got a text to say neither of them wanted to go. Initially, Kayla wasn't going to go because um, basically the mum didn't buy them a Scout shirt. They've been in the Scouts for almost a year. They still don't have the shirt bought for them. So the Scouts gave Kayla one they had. You know, like if someone grows out of one, they'll sort of donate it and it can go to someone else. Robert's too big. He's quite a big lad, so they don't have any in his size. But they also gave Kayla all her badges that night. This was a month ago. They haven't been sewed on yet. So she said to her mum, she wasn't going tonight because she, you haven't sewed my badges on yet. So Kayla's 14. And I said, well, Denise texted me saying she doesn't want to go because I haven't sewed her badges on yet. And I said, well, can she not sew her own badges on? And with the, the reply and the sort of excuses and the stuff, it seemed like she took offence from my question. But the funny thing is, when I went in, I usually go into my mum's after I've dropped Isaac off because it's two hours for Scouts. So we go a little run into the shopping centre, pick anything up we need. Then I'll go to my mum's for like an hour and a half. And um, my mum says, yeah, Denise was in and she was saying about Kayla not wanting to go to Scouts because of the badges. And my mum says, I, I asked her why she didn't just put her own badges on. And I'm like, oh God, I did exactly the same thing. Oh, right. I says, I think she kind of took offence from me suggesting that her daughter at 14 should sew her own badges on. But anyway, um, so Isaac went on his own to Scouts tonight. Um, the news for today is that we have booked our flights for Disney for next year. They opened finally this week. Um, oh, it's so much more expensive than last time. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's going to be touch and go if we're going to have the money. Um, I mean, like. We've worked out that if we save every spare penny we have, we'll just make it. But that doesn't allow for expenses that come up that you don't expect, like um, heating oil, um, just anything that we need that's not expected. That Obviously, Isaac will need a new uniform next year. Um, but uh, it's, it's really stretching us. Like, we really needed to get a break. But we know if we took a normal break, it would put Disney off for another couple of years. Um, so the flights were 2,700 for three of us. We're going from Dublin, direct flights, um, nine hours. <laughs> oh. um, we were booked for the second week of August to the, like the two middle weeks, not the first one or the last one, the, the week two and week three of August. But I read, I should have known this in advance. I read that one of the best times to go to Disney in summer is the last two weeks of August because the kids in America go back to school in the middle of August. I didn't know this. So it's like, oh, and you can change your Disney booking at any time. So we thought, right, we want to go Wednesday to Wednesday because Wednesday is the cheapest day to fly. And we want to change our booking from week two and three of August to week three and four of August. We'll be like getting back and Isaac may be back to school the very next day. But we thought it'll be worth it for it being a bit quieter. Phoned the hotel. Darren was on the phone for 50 minutes um, on hold for ages. It said there was a queue of three minutes at the start and it kept going up. And after 50 minutes, it said, thank you for calling. Goodbye. And it's like he hadn't spoken to anyone. <laughs> he called back again another two times. He got to speak to someone eventually. And it turns out we had booked for Port Orleans French Quarter, which was the hotel we stayed in last time. The reason I love this hotel is because it's the smallest. 
it's a lot easier to get around um, after like a really long day at the parks. I'm not able to walk around a massive, you know, complex. Plus, um, it's right on a river and you can get a little boat to Disney Springs, which is so relaxing. It's so nice and I really like it. So we decided on the same hotel again. Um, all the standard rooms are gone. So we were on the phone and we had the option, keep week two and week three of August, keep the hotel room we've got and risk a week of Disney being extremely busy or pay to get a garden room. I don't give a damn what's out my window. 300 pounds extra, 20 pounds extra per night um, in order to get the last two weeks of August. I said, oh God, what do we do? We booked the £300 extra. I don't care what's out my window. I'm not going to be spending any time looking out my window. The upside of it is we might see more of those lizards. Do they have squirrels in America? I think they do. Um, they had loads of little lizards last time. They were so cute. <clears throat> but um, £300 is a lot of money to us. But I'm thinking of the cost of Genie Plus and all that stuff, which we're not paying for. We're just hoping to get lucky with rides. Um, we may have to pay to get flight of passage. I refuse to go home and not go on flight of passage. It's not happening. But um, so if we had that week, week two of August, which is apparently a busier week, we may not get on anything we want. So the extra £300 really is sort of, I don't like having to pay it, but at the same time, we've got the two weeks we want. So we're booked for the last two weeks of August, Port Orleans French Quarter, flights are booked from Dublin, um, ESTA applications are done and paid for. Um, all I have to do now is get travel insurance and uh, the travel insurance through the airport was extortionate. I'm going to source my own. Um, and I've sourced like parking in Dublin. I'm just sort of like going between different ones. Um, so I need to get parking sorted. Darren has emailed the kennels about the dogs to get a quote for that. And um, yeah. I think everything's sorted. We just now have to save like bilio for the next 11 months and just not do very much. And I think the cinema will be the only place that we'll be seeing our backsides for the next 11 months um, because it's quite cheap. So um, yeah, that's it folks. But nice news, Disney's booked. Um, I can sort of de-stress. Well, you can't, there's a thing. In the UK, you can't get Disney magic pants anymore. I went to order them today. Um, they used to come, all these things used to come included for Disney people stay in. There was the shuttle, which we don't have anymore. There was the fast passes, which we don't have anymore. There was the free dining, which we don't have anymore. And there was included wristbands, which we don't have anymore. Um, but it said they're only supplying magic bands to guests in America and Canada, I think it was. Now there's a thing on your phone where you, you basically can get entry to the park with that. Now, Kelly, if you're watching this, you might know the answer to this. Alan, you might know as well. Apparently, Magic Bands, the battery only lasts for like two years. Now, our last trip, when we go back, it will be four years. But it says even though the battery only lasts for two years, it probably will still work on your hotel room and park entry. It just won't work on things like fast pass photographs and things like that. Or, you know, the that photograph memory maker. So I wonder what our, what our Magic Bands work if we took them. Just really only for getting into the room and into the parks, just that. But I think we can buy magic bands when we're there. So we may do that. But how do they link that to your reservation? I've no idea. I like to get all this stuff sorted out before I go, but I was a bit bummed we couldn't get magic bands sorted. So yes, that's what's happening, folks. We will obviously update you anything we're doing at the time, packing, getting stuff ready, travel day, all of that sort of stuff if you're interested. So that's a big 11 months away though. So that's what's happening right now. I'm going to go to bed and watch, there's two new, there's a documentary about those 13 kids in that cave in Thailand, but it's from their point of view. They're interviewing the real kids and the new Dahmer interviews with Dahmer is on. So I'll watch one of those two. I'm not sure what one just yet. <coughs> this worth throat. So yeah, I shall go to bed um, and I'll catch up with you guys possibly tomorrow. Thank you.